but we're back now with our um, previously um, rigged character using human IQ. The one thing that I have to stress is, if you're going to be using motion capture data, make sure that your character is set up in the T pose. Um, the reason for that is the bind pose. I'll show you um, what will happen. Um, it will break basically, so it's just something to be aware of. Um, so now what we would do is we've got our motion cap uh, character rig set up using human IK. Um, we've got our character definition and we've got our source at the minute, which is the control rig. Let's go to file, create reference. And we're just going to reference the motion capture take that we've just done. And this will just pull in the, um, the motion capture. Let's just extend the timeline to like say 500. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to have a little look to see the skeleton. He's just basically sitting down, chilling, watching TV. Um, doing some stuff, nothing particularly crazy, but it's just motion capture data. It was used for a, a commercial, um, but it's just to give you an idea of how it works. So that's basically a uh, motion capture of a character sitting down. Right, so now character one, the source is the control rig. All we need to do is to say source to plug the motion capture data in, change it from source or control rig to model the motion capture take, which is the reference name that we're pulling in. There we go. And you'll see the character snap to position. Okay, we do need to adjust the weights, the skin weights, etc. Maybe the joint placement needs to be corrected a little bit. Um, but on the whole, it's, it's sort of pausing up. And then if we just hit play, there we go. We've got some motion capture data attached to our character rig. So pretty quick. So you can use that setup using uh, Human IK. Again, I've got to stress, you know, you would need to look at paint the skin weights. There is that little bit of offset with the skeleton purely based on the size differentiation between the motion capture rig and the actual mesh character that you've got built and the proportion of that character. So it's just something to bear in mind, but it does give you some quite nice results. Um, what I want to quickly do is you can see here how these colors are now changing. So that's basically telling us that there's a link to this uh, character rig. So what we're gonna do is select the skeleton of our character rig and then go select hierarchy. And you could also, I'm pretty sure you could do it from in here, uh, bake, bake the skeleton is what we want. Bake the skeleton is basically gonna, um, it's basically gonna bake all of these joints, the keyframe data on this. So if I hit bake, You'll see it's running through the timeline. It's basically baking all of that animation onto that motion capture rig now. Oh, sorry, on, not on the motion capture rig, onto our um, character. Um, so now we've got this as sort of say first pass. You can see all those keyframes. We select the skeleton. Um, it's actually baked onto the rig. What we could do is go to reference editor, right click. Uh, reference and we could unload that we could we could untick that and remove it so we've baked all that animation now onto our um on our character rig and let's say we wanted to tweak some stuff we could do we could just then start um let's say we just want to totally tweak this animation and we just want to look in over here and you know you you could just then key and Obviously, we'd need to look at the, the skin weights or whatever. Um, but yeah, this is how how we might be able to sort of fuse um, animation and um, motion capture together. Pretty simple, um, pretty quick. So it's nothing too complex. Uh, okay, I um, mean, look at the skin weights. I cannot help myself, but I have to tweak it because I know there'll be people watching the videos intently and saying that head looks like a piece of cheese. So yeah, I'm just going to smooth that out for the benefit of uh, probably Ethan and uh, Jordan as well. Um, which Jordan? I'm not too sure. So yeah, that's there we go. So quickly painted that skin weight up and then back to sort of testing. And that's what's really cool about this is, you know, you can plug in uh, different types of data and you can plug motion capture data into and then bake that out and then have it working with uh, animation okay so that's that kind of little workflow very simple very quick um you know it's about pulling that reference data in um that 
motion capture file which we created through a character reference um, which was that file there I'll put these up on the Dropbox for you to grab down and have a little look at um, and then yeah you would uh, go select hierarchy and then bake from within this section here and that would bake the whole uh, character rig so yeah okay I'll see you in the next video which we're going to be looking at um, exporting to unity and we're going to have a little look at the unity ui okay i'll see you in the next video